This is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to Dalal Seed Peak Ahead program sponsored by Delta.Exchange and Redex.Live. Last week was a terrible week and in fact the problem started the previous Friday when there was a news about Mauritius tax treaty. And I have been telling you, so usually the markets will correct significantly as and when this FPA taxation issue comes. And Nifty has actually fallen nearly 1000 points, that is about 5% in just 5 trading sessions. As of Thursday, 4 trading session, Nifty has already fallen about 800 points, but then came the very bad news that uh, you know, Israel-Iran conflict and then you know, if Nifty was indicating about 400 point gap down, but that day morning itself I tweeted, you know, uh, the smart people will be squaring up their shots when there is a, such a big gap down happens. It's usually the weaker shots who will be getting into the short position and a bad news and they will be slotted. And that's what exactly happened on Friday after a huge gap down. Uh, it was not 400 point as indicated by GIF Nifty, but it was about 300 point gap down. But the entire 300 point gap down was wiped out and in fact, Nifty ended well in green. So, last week is something you know the people want to forget. On Thursday, just in a matter of few seconds, the Nifty fell 200 point. Some operators uh, you know played the havoc. Uh, I think the Saturday video would have explained all these things in detail. So, this kind of thing is going to be a regular phenomena until you know uh, some of them uh, medium sized fishes die. So, uh, that is a different story. So, let us come back to the market. So, next week, you know, like final week for expiry and uh, it is going to be a very, very important week and for many reasons. And number one, corporate results. So, there are many companies that will be coming out with results and the prominent one is uh, HDFC Bank. The result has come already. So, it seems that, you know, as per the media reports, the results are decent results. Uh, there is no something very big uh, surprise positive also. There is no big surprise on negative side also. So, I think it may open, you know, maybe 1%, 2% higher. No, uh, no that is something really very good. So, at this point of time, you know, uh, not a bad news is already a good news. There is no need for any good news because the market has already fallen so much. And then Monday evening, uh, Reliance Industries will be declaring the results. Usually Reliance Industry used to declare the results on Friday evening, but this is the first time they are coming out with results on Monday evening. And uh, forget about our market, you know the US markets. Uh, just like here, you know, the seven big stocks, Hirtik stocks. In US, there are seven big stocks. Apple, Amazon, uh, Facebook, uh, Google, NVIDIA, uh, Tesla and then uh, uh, yeah, uh, one more I forgot exactly. So, there are seven stocks, they are called Magnificent 7. So, out of these seven Magnificent stocks, okay, five stocks are coming out with results this week. I think except Apple and NVIDIA which will be coming later. So, the remaining uh, 5 stocks are coming out with results this week. So, you know US markets going to be very very volatile. And there you know S&P 500 has already corrected about 5 percent and the Nasdaq 100 has almost corrected 10 percent. So, Nvidia especially on Friday it fell 10 percent. Right. So, markets are going to be very very highly volatile and especially I always used to say if the first three weeks are volatile, the fourth week will be even more volatile. Then you know like markets are going you now going to uh, 22,800 then coming to 21,800 again you know uh, markets are going to be very very volatile and you know I always advise people you know closer to the expiry the last week do not trade in the current month options at least shift your positions to next month options at least there will be a decent premium you know uh, but you know 
the, the gamma effect will be very, very less. So, corporate results in both in India and US will be uh, deciding the direction of the market. So, the important results HDFC Bank and uh, um, Reliance on Monday. So, the rest of the things uh, every day I will mention in the pre market report. And uh, there will be, you know, good amount of volatility. But one good thing about the bulls is that, you know, so they defended 22,000 on the downside so many times. Many times Nifty broke 22,000 on the downside. So every time it went below that, it has recovered. But at the same time, the bears are also in control. They are not letting the Nifty to trade above 22,500. Though it crossed 22,500 few times, uniformly it came down. So finally, now, Nifty is trading between 22,000 and 22,500 and but within this, you know, the market can be uh, too volatile in the coming week. Since there was no big escalation in Iran-Israel uh, front, you know, the so markets are likely to open higher on Monday morning. In fact, on Friday night, GIF Nifty indicating about 70-80 point gap up. I think the Asian markets are likely to be uh, positive on Monday. So then after that, you know, other things will come into the picture. So IB will uh, surely collapse in HDFC bank. So tomorrow the bank nifty will be in focus because, you know, uh, HDFC bank results. So this video is being shot on Saturday night as uh, Sunday I'm going out of session for some family function. So uh, therefore, you know, as of now, there is no escalation in uh, Israel Iran front, but we don't know. Sunday something may happen that we do not know. So, still uh, Sunday early morning, Monday early morning. So, two early mornings are there. So, usually, if any attack, enemy attack happens, that happens in the early morning, you know, so that you know the enemy will not be uh, fully awakened. So, that is the logic. So, therefore, you know. Uh, things you know or you know US markets are doing very badly for six trading sessions continuously uh, S&P 500 has fallen and Nasdaq 100 has also fallen on Friday market went down 300 point came back 350 point but there was hardly any activity by institutions but one good thing is that after selling nearly 20,000 crores in the previous four or five trading sessions so, FIAs did not sell on Friday. So, that is something really very good. So, number one, this Mauritius tax treaty related uh, sell-off is uh, done, it seems. And then, this Israel-Iran conflict has also been factored in. And I always say, you know, Russia-Ukraine war has been going on for the last two years. My markets did not worry. Why should the market worry about Israel and Iran? And some people said, you know, Israel and Iran, they both are nuclear power. But if you, if that argument holds even true for Ukraine and Russia, because Ukraine and Russia both also have uh, nuclear power. Okay? So that is not the logic. So anyway, if you are a long-term investor, I always say use this kind of opportunity. At least Nifty correct 5 to 10 percent, stocks correct 10 to 20 percent. So that is the time. So I can tell you, in fact, you know, it is actually not the time for intraday traders. It is not the time for positional traders. It's actually time for positional investors. And say, for example, one month before, I just recommended uh, HDFC Bank and uh, Bajaj Finance. Look at both the prices now. And uh, while it was trading around 6,600, I recommended uh, Bajaj Finance but it went up to 6,200 or 100, then shot up to 7,300, right? And you should never chase the market. So an opportunity on Friday, it from 7,300, it came to 6,800. So if anybody would have got into that panic mode, you know, intraday itself, you know, there was a big rally of more than 250 points. So uh, this is actually time for investors to make money and also not for the investors who are chasing the market, you know, here and there markets will always correct at least 5 to 10 percent. Many times, you know, 
this kind of Mauritius tax treaty, you know, maybe in two months down the line, parliament election results, you know, something here and there, you know, things will be coming. Okay, wait for that opportunity and be an investor. So, trading, I think right now, things are not going very well. So, in fact, on Saturday, my video would have explained, you know, how trading is becoming more and more difficult nowadays because, you know, uh, sharks and whales are eating the big fishes now. So far, it's a big fishes eating small fishes. Now, it is a turn of sharks and whales to eat the big fishes, right? So, uh, other than that, you know, there's nothing much to discuss for the coming week. So, focus on individual stocks, you know, uh, as and when the results are keep coming, so individual stocks will be, uh, you know, reacting according to the results. Stock specific action will be more than the index level uh, actions. So index level still 22,000 and 22,500. So looks a possible range for this week, but uh, it's going to be very difficult. Anything can happen because, you know, when the markets are in a short sell mode or short covering mode, things can go beyond a limit. So honestly telling you, defining a range for the coming week is going to be very difficult. Take on the market on a day to day, right? So anyway, as I've been telling you, uh, technically now the market is neither long nor short. You can say it's a neutral. So it's better always avoid trading in the uh, current month option where the gamma effect will be more. So probably one can consider shifting to May series. So if it's a May series, then definitely it is a sell and rise mode, not buy and dip mode. The markets, you know, for trading, this is not the time. But for investment, of course, yes. You know, any correction is a good opportunity. So let us see where we are going to end this week uh, monthly expiry and uh, volatile expiry. So I'm expecting, you know, somewhere between 22,000 and 22,500. So let us see what is going to happen. So HDFC Bank uh, Reliance will be in focus on Monday. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.